wonder if there's peace that I could find Instead of always being on the ground I need a new purpose I'm looking for so much more Don't leave me here searching You're just what I'm longing for When times are getting crazy And everything seems hazy Place for safe
on the metal and how they affect how you're going to clean them. So we have here a cold roll. We have one that's been sitting in the vinegar that's been washed off. And then we have as the 116 not clean. We have one that's been has fallen into the plasma cut container and has been recuperated. And we have a bar and here we have a saw. Uh, now all these you want to consider the discs that you're going to use. I, personally, I like to use the 120 grit premium Zikona and we have the Walter Turbo Which is 35 grit if you press and 60 grit if you just leave it on the surface We have a grinding stone from Walter as well 
and you use the excavator. Now, these are expensive discs, the Walter discs, but they will save you a lot of hands and a lot of hours. And we have here a scotch bright. And we're gonna talk about in what circumstances I use what, what is the most effective tool for me. In a saw, much, it's much less malleable than, uh, say, a ball or a clean plate or even a cold rolled plate. Uh, very, very uh, brittle com in comparison. Yes, you can still bend it. It is more brittle. Because it's hardened and it's been used with oil and over time it's been created little dents and fissures, it's uh, going to be very hard to clean. Even if you put this in vinegar and you take it out, it's still going to remain on the surface and you're still going to have to pass many more discs than any other metal. Put it in the vinegar anyway because it does help slightly. But after I will pass the rock, the Walter, and then the 120 grit. Now you can go straight to this disc. The problem is it will come and it will the oil could fill, or the vinegar could also fill and clog the disc. And then you will have a trouble using this disc after. The hardness of this saw mixed with the plasma cuts just makes it so impossible to take off at a flat angle. So you're better to just go with the corner and then come back to make it flat. It's a bit more work, but I think that it's, there's something to be said about using the original because you could just undo these and put in a new one and use just normal SC. But uh, I think there's something to be said about the history and the meaning of a piece uh, and the, the beauty of reusing this uh, thing that somebody just left lying around because they have no use for it anymore. And here is a bar. With experience, I learned that this actually takes more time in the vinegar than a normal plate. Now we have this one that's been fallen into the plasma cut table. And once it's in the plasma cut table, I continue to plasma cut over it. So you see how it's got all these kind of little uh, kind of spots. And even if I put this in the vinegar, you're gonna to have to take off more in order to get a clean surface. Just passing the 120 grit disc. And if there is not too many fissures, you might get away with the 120 grit disc sometimes. We have the 116. You put it in vinegar, much easier. If you don't, you're gonna to have to pass more discs. If your 116 plate is solid like this, this is your best friend. So the Scotch Bright is gonna take that crust right off. He'll take off the vinegar too. And because he sheds off the first layer as you go, there's no worry about clogging it. But say you did a plasma cut, you have full of cuts from your plasma. Every little line he's gonna catch on and your disc will just disappear. There'll be no more disc in several seconds and you risk injuring yourself because he'll get caught and he can snag. Lots of unfun moments. Showed you a bit of difference of uh, what, what works best with certain metals and a bit of uh, idea how to save your money and save your discs. Uh, so, so that's it for today and uh, I hope you enjoyed this.
you enjoyed the video. I have a very interesting project coming up and I would love to know what you think it is. So leave me a comment below what you think it is and the closest person to it, I will send a feather. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to get more of my videos. By liking, subscribing and sharing my videos, you help me to continue creating this beautiful content and to gain clients and exposure. Uh, I would like to say a special thanks to all of my subscribers and followers. I never expected to have so many people follow me and watching my content and it fills my heart with joy. Yeah.